the forewarned storm team. Certified St. Louis's most accurate forecast for three straight years. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton. Well, Steve, a winter weather advisory that you've been tracking all day, and uh, what's the very latest on that? You know, it's a light wintry mix, and it could end up being largely freezing rain. And even though that's not an ice storm, any yeah. light ice can cause some problems. Sure. So this winter weather advisory doesn't go into effect until tomorrow morning. This is Sunday morning at 8 a.m. until Monday at 6 a.m. That's a long period of time. So if you have to travel Sunday, my advice is to uh, check in on travel conditions before you head out. I don't think you necessarily need to cancel them, but you definitely want to be careful. Here and even in the Monday morning commute could be pretty slow. This is a, a mix that could include some freezing rain. The light ice is going to be on untreated surfaces, treated roads, and I suspect a lot of the main roads are going to be treated pretty well. They're going to end up being just wet. This ice is going to be mainly on untreated surfaces, elevated surfaces, cold parked cars that are outside the deck, maybe parking lots or sidewalks you want to be careful about as well. And then as we head into the afternoon and evening, the temperatures are just hovering near freezing. That's one of the reasons why treated roads will be just wet because when you're at 32, the treatment works very efficiently. So this is not one of those situations where we're really cold and it instantly freezes. In the afternoon and evening, it's going to be uh, one of those deals where it's very close to the freezing mark and temperatures are going to play a key role for us tomorrow. We could even see some rain mix in, so a lot of this could even melt. It's going to be a close call. Right now, we're actually at 32, wouldn't you know it, at the freezing point. We warmed up above freezing to 34 after a low of 10 today. Temperatures in Edwardsville and Belleville below freezing at 27 degrees right now. And any of this mix, it is not coming until tomorrow. If you have Saturday evening plans, head out, have fun. Roads are going to be dry. It's wet down in Texas and Louisiana, but that's the moisture that's coming our way. So let me take you through it and show you how this progresses through the area. At 6 a.m. Sunday, dry air, at least initially, is going to keep any kind of bouts of wintry mix at bay. By mid to late morning, they could overcome some of that dry air, and it would be very light at first and then kind of build up into some freezing rain. So freezing drizzle or sleet at first, building up into a little freezing rain later in the day. At 10, 11 a.m in the morning. So heading out of Sunday services, just keep an eye out as you do head out. There may already be some slick spots on untreated sidewalks. As we head into the afternoon, that freezing line right there in that purple comes right into St. Louis. And that's going to be a problem with temperatures right at 32 degrees to 33 degrees. It makes it really difficult to know exactly what we're going to be seeing. I'm expecting freezing rain. But then by late afternoon, early evening, it changes over to a little rain in St. Louis and it could come back to freezing rain deeper into the evening and over Overnight, but that temperature is going to hover right around freezing. There's that freezing line into Sunday evening and even into Monday morning, it hangs around 32 degrees as well. If you're south of St. Louis, you'll get some ice accumulation and then you could see some melting and a cold rain, but it's not a guarantee. While it's 32 in St. Louis, it could be 32 in Farmington, in Sullivan, over in Sparta as well. So you still may be dealing with freezing rain. I don't want you to think that just south of this line, you're guaranteed rain. It's going to be such a close call. There still could be some ice. And again, especially in those untreated surfaces, and there's a lot of roads down to the south that aren't treated as well as, say, across the metro area. So I want you to be careful. As you go north, much less precipitation, but a little mix of sleet and snow in there as well. On into the Monday morning commute at 6 a.m., this light mix is tapering off. The freezing line shifts a little bit. A little colder air comes in, but it's as this is ending, so no snow accumulation expected. And ice accumulation for areas south and southeast of St. Louis looks a little heavier, but 0.15. In order to get power outages, trees coming down, you need to be around 0.3 minimum to 0.5, about a half an inch. We're not near that. This is not an ice storm. So this is light, but light ice, of course, can cause some issues, and we're going to be on top of it for you. Watching that temperature, I've got the high at 33. It may come back down to 31 by the evening hours, and so we could go back and forth from a little freezing rain to a little rain to a little freezing rain. It sounds messy, it is, but it is light, and that's the good news. We'll be watching it closely right into the Monday morning commute for you, which on News 4 this morning on Monday morning starts at 4 a.m. I know you don't want to think about the Monday morning commute now, but we are. We're preparing for it, and we'll be here for you if it is a little messy. Thanks, Steve.